Hi, welcome back to Yorkshire Motorhomers. Hi. This weekend we've come up to South Cliff Holiday Park in Bridlington. It's a park we've been up to um, a few times. Yeah, it's just um, it's just up from the South Beach, dog friendly beach, uh, 15 minutes walk away. We have done a, a video on the actual campsite previously, so we'll drop a link in there and if you're interested, take a look. Take a look, it's well worth having a look and it's well worth coming up as it well. Is. Yeah. But this weekend we're up um, to mainly film our new motorhome and show you around our new motorhome which is the Eldis Evolution 135. The Evolution um, range is exclusive to Brown Hills Motorhomes in Newark and the Evolution coach built comes in different ranges from the 105, the entry level, to the 196 and we're just of the 135 range. Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to a beautiful Sunday morning here in Bridlington. We brought the van up here, our new motorhome, um, the Eldis uh, Evolution 135, um, to give you a little look around. Um, we thought we'd take it up and find a nice location and bonuses we've got some beautiful weather. So let's, um, let's start and have a look around the Eldis. This uh, Evolution 135 it has a, a new latest uh, Peugeot Euro 6 diesel engine. It's a 2.2 140 brake horsepower. We've got 15 inch alloy wheels, 215 stroke 70 R15 CP with the uh, camper specialist tyres storage for your gas you can get two 7k bottles in there and you've got um, the gas insert there if you want to do some barbecue fridge vents Dometic fridge and then here we have the storage compartment for the leisure battery and it's also got an external 230 volt plug socket bike rack capable for two bikes and a reversing camera and also a rear view camera on the 135 only it features a rear boot, a boot which gives you access into the lounge area um, which could be used as a storage area Moving around the other side. We have the compartment for the uh, 
toilet cassette. And then your water inlet, your fresh water inlet. And outside shower facility. Underneath we have a, a sealed fresh water tank which holds 90 litres of fresh water and a 70 litre waste water tank and the underside is uh, GRP coated so it gives you extra protection and I might add that the fresh water tank has, is uh, covered in foil um, insulation to protect it from frost. The overall length of the van is a compact van. It's 5.99 meters with a width of 2.6 meters and a height of just over 2.75 meters. It's a three berth van and it has seat belts for four so you can carry two extra passengers. The eldest uh, evolution features a low level chassis which gives you um, a low level entrance step on the habitation door. Right, just come inside to have a look at uh, some of the numbers um, from the uh, brochure. Um, right, so you've got a maximum towing limit of 2,000 kilograms which is um, uh, quite a bit for the size of the engine um, mass in running order Miro in kilograms is 2677 2677 uh, maximum use of payload of uh, 623 kilograms giving you a, a maximum MTPLM of 3,300 kilograms right as we come in um, to the cab area um, you can see that um, the cab is uh, built on a Peugeot chassis and um, a very familiar layout um, very similar to the the Fiat uh, in fact if, if anything it's exactly the same as the Fiat layout on this uh, particular model um, this features the silver dash kit um, it has the traction control and ill assist down there and it's got the DAB radio and media player just there it also features uh, cruise control which is very useful um, and I might say that uh, on the journey coming up here it's uh, really economic I think I uh, was up to almost 33 miles per gallon on this uh, uh, trip up from West Yorkshire um, it does feature a passenger airbag as most of them do these days and it's got a rear view camera um, which is a reversing camera and also um, a rear view mirror as well that's the rear view mirror it's got the usual Remis cab blinds on the sides and on the front and it's got exclusive evolution for uh, fabrics it also has, if you can see behind here, a window in the habitation door. Over the cab, we have a quite a large skylight. That's in lots of light. So down in this cupboard here, we have the four kilowatt space eating. Um, device and it's a whale with the whale pump there 
and it is quite warm it's duct heating and we have one vent there opposite the habitation door and one vent just here next to a 230 volt socket which heats up the uh, the living room and kitchen area and there's a vent in the bathroom to my right so as kev's a, a, a true yorkshireman we'll and he considers this to be a pink area i'll tell you about the kitchen so got a nice little compact microwave here um 800 watts it's a russell hobbs one very easy to use um nothing too difficult there next to that we've got a cupboard now i will say that cupboard space is very limited in this kitchen but it's a very workable kitchen i had to think carefully about what i was bringing with us but i've managed to get all our plates chopping boards bowls mugs tea and coffee and stuff all into that one little cupboard so i'll just bob my coffee boxes back there coming down onto the counter we always bring our coffee maker with us um, the sink is really good i'll just move that out of the way so you lift up the lid it's a good size sink is that, it is it? a good size sink and also when you take that out it's got little little bits to hold it in place and so you've got the drainer that drains it straight back down into the sink so now that's a really good idea it's a good space it is idea, and it is does it? lean ever so slightly forward so you don't get any water getting anywhere else it's got the ridge around the outside it comes straight back into yep. the sink and when you're not using it you just turn it upside down and put your lid back down and it gives you a little bit more working space. space the one thing i've found is i've got to be very careful because if you if you put the tap thing that way or that way and lift the lids up you end up with water everywhere but it's a lesson learned got a great cooker or hob again you have to move the things to lift the lid up but that, that's the thing of um, a smaller yeah. water home is that yeah, you've you got to move things about to make it it's, it's no workable big, it's no it, big deal it doesn't take a second to just move though yeah. you've got the three gas rings and you've got an electric hob um works really well um again a good size for yeah. a, a small motor yeah because i've we have in the past looked in bigger motor homes that have only got two or three rings yeah, yeah. so i'm i'm pleased with the full-sized hob that we have there moving to this side I've got a small drawer which has got the cutlery quite in a bit of stuff in there, don't you? yeah you could get more in than we've got in but actually when we're traveling because these would move about i put all the utensils in there so it is it is it's full once we when we're, when we're traveling this is my little larder cupboard again it doesn't go back very far um but i've got a few essentials in there if, if we need to just quickly rustle up something pasta some sauce rice those sorts of little bits and pieces so it's good use of that cupboard I yeah think. it is it can you know we could always rustle something up this i've got a few my cleaning things in here but it's got a lot of pipe work inside yeah it's um, got the uh, and you've the main to, switches for the gas it has and you've not to ob obstruct the ventilation so there's just one or two bits in there um the cleaning cupboard it is and then this drawer i've got a few baking dishes uh, baking trays and things in again not a very deep drawer depth wise so you can't store much in it that there's nowhere really to store big pans and things that but i i carry them inside the wardrobe when well, we're traveling when we're not using when it, we're not using it. Yeah. um this again is a cupboard it's got all the electric board in so you can't put anything into that one which is a bit of a shame but it's it's not it's no biggie really no. got a nice little fridge down here 
Um, I've managed this to get... This is a, a, a Dometic fridge. It is. And it, I've managed to get everything that we're going to need for the weekend in here. It's got a tiny little freezer there. You can make ice cubes. You couldn't actually put packaged frozen stuff in, although I've got a little joint of brisket in there that I brought from home and it's perfectly frozen it's not thawed at all now this is um this works on a three-way so at the moment we're on electric hookup so I've got it set to electric it it is manually operated is the fridge it's it will run on the battery, which is what we use when we're traveling. When we're traveling. Um, you can also run it on gas if you are off grid, but you can't travel with it on gas because this doesn't have the crash Anti -crash. cutout. So yeah. the gas bottles have to be switched off yeah. when so you're uh, over here. It's got the uh, that's the, the temperature the temperature, control. and it does it works really really it well. Really does it. You know, cold, if you it? get a if you get a can of pop out the fridge it's lovely and cold yeah. and these two buttons this is uh, if you were using um, the gas choice um, that's your ignition and then this um, little dial here this tells you that the gas if it goes onto the green that it's working yeah that's correct got the undercovered lighting and the overhead lighting here we have got the wardrobe which I'm not using as a wardrobe at the moment. I've got my pans and my slow cooker in there and just shoved my bread in there just because it was easier. Um, on our last trip, we did have clothes hanging in it, but the things we brought with us, we've not needed to, have we? No, we haven't brought as much, because it's only a weekend. It's only a weekend, we've only brought Minimum. a couple of changes yeah. of clothing and yeah. things and we've got them in the so cupboard. At, at the back there, you've got, um, up at the top, you've got your... Um, TV aerial. TV aerial and the controls for the uh, uh, solar panel and charger. That's right. And the um, inlets for the um, TV aerial cable. That's correct. So that's the little, the little wardrobe. To this side, we've got the washroom, wet room. It has got around the corner there's a there's a, a nice sized bathroom cabinet actually um, just up on the wall the shower curtain pulls across in front of that if you're using the shower and you've got the the usual set for the toilet shower tray in the bottom I have had a shower in here um, Kev always tends to go to the ones on site, whereas I like to use the, my own. And it, it's a nice size actually, and pretty powerful out of the out of the yeah, thing. Yeah. Nice little wash basin. So yeah, it it does everything it needs to do. The only downside is you've got to make sure you dry the tray properly when you've finished. And obviously, yeah. I don't have a shower with the rug yeah. on. No. Uh, these um, exclusive mats that come with this motor home. Um, this map is actually designed for the shower. I thought it was a footwell mat, but it isn't. It's actually designed. It's uh, obviously it's a branded one from Brown Hills, and there's one in the habitation footwell. Now there was nowhere to put the towels, and we were wondering what to do. And we found these ones um, in the in the shop at, at Brown Hills, and they're they're like a vacuum, so a suction pad. A suction pad, yeah. So basically, you would lift that up, and it will come straight off. But they're very strong. You know, you can pull on the towels, and they don't they don't drop down. So they're quite a, a good addition. I think they were about seven pounds each, something like that, weren't they? Above here, above where you, it's, it's a nice wide galley actually. This yeah, it's a nice, it. It, it is a yeah, good, it's a nice wide galley. space. You're not cramped in it. And up here, you've got your um, extractor fan for taking away the cooking smells and and ventilating when you've yeah. got the gas. I think it's one of those works both ways, doesn't it? So yeah, you can, can draw you, in. You can draw in outside air. Outside yeah. air, or, or, yeah. or it throws it out, yeah. but. I mean, you should always obviously have that going when you're cooking, especially with gas in such a confined space. We've come to this area. This um, 
this is this it's makes a, a real lounge a model. Real, a it's real a lounge, yeah. Which you've always wanted a real lounge. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it is nice. Um, it's very. We find it really comfortable. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, On an evening. You can easily see. We've had four adults sat in here in the evening. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. And it's very comfortable. It's easy to get round the table. The table comes off and folds up and goes at the end of the kitchen. But we we tend to leave it up because we can put our drinks during the day. Yeah. yeah, in the day. Yeah. Um, it's dead dead easy to make the bed up. It's literally you pull the you, you pull the sides there. out. Yeah. Um, the storage under each one, which can be accessed from by dropping down the door or from lifting up the seats. And the, there are some little. You can just show you. Kev, that there's there's also the other half to it so it will hold the lid up yeah so what Tracy's is saying if you take all the uh the, the cushion off. pads off um and the and the soft cushions everything um the storage area covers will lift up so what it, what it actually does the fasten the fasten, the to, fasten them, to that so that you can there. And do what you need to do inside, can't you? So it, it lifts you, it creates this big space, which essentially it could be a, a garage. So an example would be if you uh, uh, if you're taking your own in with you, um, you could lift these up, these seats up, because obviously you don't need them when you're travelling. You can put your own in bag in there. You can put lots more, so it's like a garage storage while you while you're travelling. Um, and of course when you get to site you put your awning up you take all your furniture and stuff your chairs tables into the awning and then you convert this back to either a lounge as it is now or a bedroom yeah i mean if you were just going away for a couple of days and you didn't want to make the bed up every day because you've got the living area at the front you could leave the bed made up it takes minutes to make the bed up or put the bed away doesn't it so we we like the seating area we've got the tv in here we eat our meals here kev tends to do his um or i was going to say auditing what do i mean <laughs> editing editing <laughs> sometimes i do but at the moment i'm doing it at the front yeah um um today we've got windows to the three sides so wherever you are you can see you've got a, a good view. out yeah um now the cupboards again are very shallow i've done a video in the past singing the praises of these little bags and i will just briefly mention them there's all my tops and trousers for for a weekend away in that one bag so they're, they're real great space savers um some of the cupboards are like that and then we've got some oh that's the same <laughs> that have got a shelf so you can put different bits in them um and so we've got them all the way around personally i think they could just do with being just that little bit deeper but it's not it's, again it's, it's all about adapting it's all about it? learning how to do things i've got mm. my clothes in the little storage bags kev's are rolled up yeah. and and in his cupboard so basically we've got a couple of cupboards each and all this has got other things in um, that we like to bring with us. Yeah. Bits and pieces. Um, the TV um, fastens to the wall. It's on an adjust, I can just show a, it, adjustable yes. bracket. So you could actually bring it right the way around if you wanted to. I don't watch, think watch we... it, you could watch it from the, uh, not, the front seats. Yeah, you could actually. If you wanted to keep this as a bed, and not sit here yeah that's that's another good point is that um if you wanted to keep the lounge area as a bedroom if you don't if you're not keen on uh making your bed up on a a, a nightly basis um you can leave your bed yeah and you can use the uh you two front seats and, and watch tv at night you so can. it's it's quite an adaptable van it uh, is for a small van because um, it's just under six meters in length so you know, it's very much on the small side of a motorhome. Yeah, it's one of the small. It's um, probably one of the smallest. It, it is, but um, you've got to make one or two compromises with the smaller van. But I feel that 
it's very well utilised space. It is, yeah. Um, we're, we're getting used to it. We've had the van just over a month now, about six weeks. About six weeks, yeah. And this um, is the third time getting, yeah. we've, we've stayed in it. it um, so we're learning all the time about the motorhome um, and how to use it. But like I say, you, the, the lounge area there is such a versatile space a lounge a bedroom a garage yeah um so it's all it's really up to you how you yeah. how you use the van well it, we've got bedding stored under these seats and under here is all the more more your stuff the motorhome is stuff we kept. yeah the electric cables the water uh, yeah. hose pipes uh, all that sort of thing your, your collapse your, pipes that's right and your and, and your box. toolbox yeah. and we did carry the uh the uh, levelers under there when we came down. Yeah, yeah, we have the um, levelers with us. It, as you saw on the outside view, the the these are also accessed by the by the door at the back, so that you can. That's one of the features which you, you'd have seen on yesterday's yeah. uh, video. Um, that um, that you can you can look in. Boot. You can get to those things. Yeah through the back without taking all the things down um we've put some mats down because it's the middle of winter and we don't want the carpets to get dirty but the carpets can be lifted as they can in most modern motorhomes they've got poppers on them um there and they will uh you can take them up if you if you prefer rather than having the carpets down um there's a yeah. skylight above the lounge there's one above the um this little seating this area dime, yeah and incidentally these are the uh travel seats so you can travel with uh four people in this motor home um, this does make into a single bed it comes with a mattress yeah um it is a small single bed it is um, you, you, you it's a combination of using this and the front seat and getting them leveled and there's a an infill piece that goes in the middle and then a roll out mattress obviously we don't carry that with us because we're not going to use that bed um you'd be cozy if you used that bed i think a single person would be um two, two, two people what get in there no 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 yeah. but i i think it would still be quite cozy yeah. Um, but there is the option for yeah. an extra person to come yeah. along. But we've got some more of the cupboards here. We've just got some uh, glasses and cups in that one. And a few snacks and It's a nice cabinetry as you. well. It's um, yeah, fairly it's, well made, isn't it? It is well yeah. made. Yeah. They're not there soft are, clothes, but, uh, no, but they're, um, some of the other models are. But all the catches are, are well made. Um, well made aren't they? Yeah, so they yeah, these a good, ones a good solid have got catch the little them. catch underneath. Yeah. Um, these ones have got a catch in the handle. In the handle there. So. And of course we've got the uh, smoke alarm and the carbon monoxide uh, alarm up there. We have. And then there is a little bit of storage around the top here just for a few bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can just keep some odds and ends and stuff up there. You can, and we put a couple of hooks up for our coats. Um, with the with the wardrobe being a little bit smaller um, than we used to, we we put some hooks up, and that that works really well. Yep. Yeah, up here we've got the uh, control panels uh, for the whale system. Um, it's fairly straightforward system. You've got your main on off once you're hooked up you press that um, that switches the system on you've got your water pump at the side uh, you've got your interior lighting switch there and your awning light there on this uh, little panel side here of the panel you've got the uh, the battery so that tells you what level your ba uh, leisure battery is at and what level your fresh water tank is at the panel below is um, for the heating and water system so your water heating um, is on the top there uh, we're currently just running it on off the uh, electric and um, 
you've got different settings there so you can have it electric you can have it gas only uh, you can have it dual gas and electric and you've got two settings there um, you've got a frost uh, setting so if you've got it parked on the drive or anything you can just leave it on there and it just keeps it nice and uh, nice and warm and stops anything from uh, any of the pipes freezing and then below you've got your your space heating controls again it's the same um, you've got different levels so you go on the electric you can go three levels and then gas and then um, two uh, one setting of uh, dual fuel gas and electric and then on that side there there's your control for your different levels uh, for your eating so a fairly straightforward system just on here you've got uh, just behind the uh, coffee machine you've got USBs two USBs and there is a USB socket as the normally is in the cab area so that's a little look around our uh, LDC Evolution 135 it is we're getting used to it and and we're, we're, we're uh, quite enjoying it yeah we are yeah we are yeah so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video of the uh, our van and um, we'll um, hopefully we we'll film filming many more videos from it in the uh, coming weeks and months. Um, yeah, we've got some exciting things booked. We have. We've got lots planned. of exciting plans for 2022. Hopefully the pandemic will allow us to do that. Um, we've got trips abroad as well as trips in the UK. We have. So we'll uh, we'll be sharing our adventures with you yep. if you want to come along. Yep. Right, we've come down to the beach, uh, down at Bridlington South. Um, it's absolutely packed with people walking. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Um, we've, uh, blue sky now. Yeah. A little bit of a breeze, but it's not cold. No. We hope um, you've enjoyed, uh, or we hope you enjoy looking at uh, the video um, of the Eldis, our new motorhome. And if you're in the market, for a compact motorhome, we hope you find this uh, video useful. So we're going to carry on with our walk and we'll see you later on. Bye! <laughs>